Let's review how to complete a Salesforce send email within Marketing Cloud. Once logged into Marketing Cloud, we'll go ahead and hover Email Studio in the far left of the top navigation. Once hovered, you'll want to select the Email option below it. That has gone ahead and opened the Email Studio portion of Marketing Cloud. From here, let's go ahead and hover Interactions in the top navigation. From there, we'll want to look at Salesforce Send Email, an option towards the bottom of the list. This is where you'll be able to see each individual Salesforce Send Email that has been created in this particular business unit. But let's go ahead and create one from scratch by selecting this Create button in the top left. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and name your Salesforce Send email. This is very internal. No one else sees this except folks in your business unit. We do encourage that you identify a naming convention and follow it. Once you've given your Salesforce Send email a name, we'll go ahead and select your content. So by default, the classic email tab is checked. Um, most people should have migrated out of there a few years ago. So we'll want to look at content builder email. And from there, you can go ahead and open up that top toggle um, of content builder. And underneath that, you will be presented with the folder structure and all of the emails that have been created in your account. Once you've selected the email that you want to send, the subject line and preheader that you've already given it will pre-populate. It's a great way to confirm you've selected the right email, but if you do have a change of heart on what that subject line should be, you can go ahead and change it right here. Continuing to scroll, we'll next want to identify our send classification. Selecting the right send classification is incredibly important. It drives two big things. One, your sender profile, which is who your message is coming from. In this example, it's Ken McConnellog, Vice President of Communications, as the friendly from name, associated to his email address. Ken.McConnellog at cu.edu. The second really important piece is the delivery profile. So for all commercial communications, we want to make sure the delivery profile is set to CU footer for all email. This is what allows constituents to opt out of your messages, complying with CAN spam. With our send classification details perfected, we can go ahead and move on to our recipient section. So it's as simple as clicking on this edit recipients link. From here, we want to get your audience in this targeted section. And so that should either be by way of using a Salesforce report or a Salesforce data extension. To select a report, you'll need to click on Salesforce report, so it has that gray box around it, and then hit this arrow into the targeted area. So that will open up a new window for you to search for your report. Go ahead and say find now. And all the reports you have access to are listed there. So do be mindful that you're selecting the right one. And now it's been added to that targeted section. The other option is to send to a Salesforce data extension. And something that's important to note about this area is that you can't send to a report and a data extension. Um, if I were to click into the Salesforce data extension area, and it opens up all those data extensions, at which point you go ahead and just click on it and add it to the targeted. And so it's giving me, it's not doing that action because you can't mix and
and match reports and data extensions. Um, so if I wanted to send to a data extension, I would actually need to remove that report. And now I'd be able to add that to the targeted. Um, at this point, you can add multiple data extensions. It was just the combination of reports and data extensions that Marketing Cloud did not like. So with my targeted audience in there, I can go ahead and hit Save. It is important to remember that your data extensions must be ran before every single send. As I return to this page, the recipients I selected are now indicated here. So with those pieces complete, the recipients, your send classification, your email selected, and it having a name that you provided it, you're good to go ahead and hit save in the top left. This window now indicates that Salesforce Send has been saved, and we can see it listed here right at the top. So now if I was ready to actually send this email, all you need to do is click the box next to it, that little check mark, and then hit send in the top. In this window, you'll have the opportunity to either send it immediately or start it on a following date and time. I personally always like scheduling the communication out in the future, even if it's just 15 minutes. The reason I do that is because they tend to get a little stressed when sending communications, especially to very large audiences. And so just scheduling it, taking a deep breath, and then when we, you're more relaxed, reviewing that work just once more has saved me many times in the past. Next, go ahead and review all of the information, your message summary, as well as your audience summary, and your send properties to ensure it is all correct. After that, you're free to go ahead and click this I certify all these people have opted in message, at which point you'll be able to send. 